So in my podcast series on various infamous executions in New Brunswick maritime and Canadian history, today we're going to talk about uh, kind of a, a mystery. Now, when Private Harold Pringle signed up as an underage soldier to enter the Second World War, he hoped to leave his hometown of Flinton, Ontario, to, to serve the Canadian Army and the country that was his beloved home. Now, but according to published reports, few volunteered to fight the good fight realized what horror lay ahead. Now, Pringle was the only soldier in the Canadian Army in the World War II to be executed. Here's the details of the case. Uh, his father uh, and himself tried to enlist in a group called the Hastings and the Prince Edward uh, Regiment of the Canadian Army. Now, on medical examination, as an underage participant, he was accepted, but his father was turned away due to poor eyesight. Now, uh, according to legend, Pringle was a private who was a disciplinary problem for his unit going AWOL several times, and he was sent to a reformatory camp for a year. Now he escaped after serving six months there and was sent to Italy where he was posted to the 1st Battalion, the Hastings and Prince Edward Regiment, again as a private, and Pringle's combat record after the escape was unblemished until after the battle for the Hitler line in central Italy when he deserted to Rome to join the infamous Sailor Gang. Now, when he found himself in Italy fighting on what was called then the Bloody Hitler Line, two-thirds of his company were allegedly killed. Now, some say he was shell-shocked. Some say he basically finally gave up uh, or gave in to the demons that were chasing him, and he embarked on a tragic final course that culminated in a murder conviction that to, t to some was suspect. Now, when he joined the Sailor Gang, there was only five members, and it was similar to a larger and more organized group called the Lane Gang. Now, allegedly, both gangs smuggled goods into Rome for the promising black market. Now, the members of the Sailor Gang lived on their proceeds of crime for many months, but according, again, to published reports, things started going downhill. They were, all, uh, all, were almost always drunk, got into fights, and made uh, bad decisions to the point where one of the members shot another. They tried to take him to the local field hospital and all the gang, except one who was given immunity for his testimony at their trials, alleged that he died on the way, claiming also that Pringle and the gang leader shot the man after he was dead several times, so it would look like a mafia killing. The dead gang member was discovered and police apprehended uh, almost all the members of the Sailor Gang, all along with the members of the similar but larger Lane Gang. Now, the various gang members were tried, and Pringle was sentenced to death for murder under what has been later proven to be controversial means. Now, an appeal against the decision was rejected, and on 5 July 1945, Pringle was executed by a Canadian army firing squad. He is currently buried in Italy. Now, many, many years later, a book called The Keen Soldier, The Execution of Second World War War Private Harold Pringle, uh, which was written by award-winning journalist Andrew Clark, allegedly found a file on Mr. Pringle and uh, found some details that had been buried for 50 years. Now, according to the book, his appeal was reviewed by the highest levels of government, right up to the Prime Minister William Lyon Mackenzie King, but Private Pringle was put to death, and being the only soldier that Canadians executed in the whole of Second World War, uh, it became kind of a, a recall celeb, because his own countrymen carried out the orders, who were forbidden to go home before completing this last grotesque assignment, even though the war had ended uh, eight weeks before. 
Now, uh, the Pringle file was closed and stayed that way for 50 years until Clark uncovered it and began, began a two-year investigation on Pringle's life in the Army. Now, the Clark book is a good read. I would suggest going on Amazon and any other book distribution uh, companies to get it. It's available in Kindle, hardcover, and paperback. Uh, for me, which I find very bizarre about the case, they made the firing squad stay after the war was completed. I don't know if those soldiers later went on to, to prep for the possible invasion of Japan. But that should be investigated in itself. Why did he keep Canadian soldiers? I think a firing squad was between 5 and 10 people. So, we exactly don't know uh, why, but with all the executions of uh, Canadian soldiers in World War One, for this to occur after the war was completed, it's a heavy mystery in itself. So that's the, uh, the case of Private Harold Pringle, the only member of the Canadian Army to be executed during or after the Second World War. Thanks for listening. And if you have a comment, please do so. Like or subscribe is also appreciated. Bye.